Hello everyone, Miss Briscoe here. We are on lesson two for math this week. So you're going to go ahead and need math, chapter one, lesson two, interactive notes from the document that I have below this lesson. Go ahead and print those out. Make sure you have those ready because this is going to go in your math section of your interactive binder so that you have something to look back on throughout the year to help you review. Our learning goal today is I can read, write, and represent whole numbers through hundred millions. So our last lesson we only went with our place value up through the thousands. So we're going to go through hundred millions today and really look and see what those numbers look like and how do we read, write, and represent them. So we do have a vocabulary word today that we are going to be learning about and that is the word periods. So I'm going to go ahead and write the definition for the word periods and as I write it I would love for you to add it to your notes as well. Periods is a group of three digits separated by commas in a multi-digit number. Okay, and so what we have here below that is you have the millions, thousands, and ones are all periods. They are separated by commas and they contain three digits, a ones, a tens, and a hundreds. So if you were to go down a little bit, you're going to see these periods on your place value chart. Now this place value chart is something that you've seen before. So what we have is we have the ones period, the thousands period, and the millions period. Do you see how you can see the, the group of three digits and the ones? There's three groups in the thousands and three groups in the millions. And when you write numbers, you separate these periods with commas, and you've seen this before. So in our ones period, we have our ones, tens, and hundreds. Pretty simple. In our thousands period, we have one thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. And in our millions, we have the one millions, the ten millions, and the hundred millions. So I'm going to practice, we're going to practice placing this number into our periods chart. So do you see how the number is separated? by threes, okay, so our ones, I want you to do this as I'm doing this, has our three zeros, the thousands period of this number has three zeros, and then the millions has a four and a zero. And so you would see those commas right here separating those periods. So the way that we would read this number would be 40 million. All right. So we're going to, and this should be a review for you, but if not, um, it's something new and you can practice placing new numbers in this box to help you. So go ahead and flip on over. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be learning about the value of a digit because as we saw in that chart, each number had a value. And so when you're looking here, let me open up my notes so you can get a better idea. We'll have that chart to look at. When we have a number, for example, this first number we have here is 786,874. And if we were to put this up in our chart up here, the numbers would fall. Four would be in your ones category, seven in your tens, eight would go in your hundreds, six would go in your thousands, the one thousands, eights in the ten thousands, and sevens in the hundred thousands. So when they talk about a digit, your digit here, you have the digit four, 
the digit 7, the digit 8, the digit 6, the digit 7, and the digit 8. But each of these digits have their own value. This 7 and this 7 have a totally different value from each other. They're in different places on our chart. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the value of these two numbers. So if I'm looking here, this 6 falls into my thousands place. So the value of my 6 is at 6 thousands. So this is the value of the 6. And if I were to look here, my next number is 943,456,000. They want to know what is the value of the underlined 4. This is my ones period, my thousands period, my millions period. So if I were to put this up into my millions period, the 9 would be 900 millions. The 4s and the 10s would be 40 millions. So I would write my 4, and then the value of my 4 would be 40 millions. Now I'm going to write a number, and after I write the, num write the number, I want you to pause the video. I want you to write it on your paper, and I want you to try finding the value of the underlined digit. So the number that I'm going to write is 786,864. And what I would like for you to do is I would like for you to give me the value of the 8 digit. I would like for you to tell me what is the value of the 8 digit in 786,864. So go ahead and pause your video and write the value of the 8 digit. Okay, so if you found 80,000 to be the value of the 8 digit, you are correct. Alrighty. And then down here, at the very bottom of your notes, we're going to be using place value to read and write numbers in different ways. So there's different ways to express your numbers. You have different forms, and this again should be a review for you, but if not, we're going to go over it. Your standard form, which is just writing the number out. You have word form. That's where you're writing out the words of what would you say if you had to read this number out loud. And then you have expanded form. That's where you take each digit and you're showing what its value would be. So our standard form, again, is just, your, just the digits listed out how you would write your number. Your word form is, in words, I would read 1,392,405. That is my number written in words. And then in our expanded form, you're taking each digit and you're writing out its value. The one is in the one millions place. The three is in the three hundred thousands. The nine is in the ten thousands, the two is in the one thousands, the four is in the hundreds, there's no digit in the tens, and then the five is in the one. So that's your expanded form. And then I have a little bonus down here. The bonus is 40 times what equals 400,000. See if you can answer that bonus question. I will have the answer to that bonus question in our next lesson. So again, our learning goal was I can read, write, and represent whole numbers through hundred millions. So go ahead and complete these notes. You can rewind and rewatch this as much as you need. And then you're going to put them into the math section of your interactive notebook binder. And you can refer to these as you're practicing.